And today's deep dive looks into the ongoing problems linked to vaping. The message from federal officials, just stop. That comes as they investigate hundreds of illnesses possibly linked to vaping. It includes three deaths, one of them in Los Angeles County, and a local family says that they're dealing with the dangers of vaping too. They say vaping is what landed 21-year-old Ricky of Loomis in the hospital with acute respiratory failure. He was in a medically induced coma, but his family tells me that he's improving every day. His mother shared a photo this photo of him on Facebook because it's not what she expected would happen to her son after a night out to dinner last week. We were out to dinner. We were having a great time eating, laughing, joking around. And on the way home, he said he started feeling bad. And we got home, he started throwing up and he continued to throw up for five days. And he was so sick that she thought her son had the flu, but he wasn't reacting to the medication. The CDC says that they are working tirelessly and relentlessly to investigate what appears to be a surging number of severe lung illnesses like Ricky's that may be linked to vaping. Investigators say they have reports of more than 450 cases across 33 states. It seems like a common cause here is chemical exposure, but it's not clear what specific product or chemical may be responsible. Patients typically have flu-like symptoms and shortness of breath for several days. I'm 18 years old. My lungs are like a 70-year-old's. They told me if we didn't bring him in when we brought him in, his lungs would have collapsed and he would. And lawmakers are also demanding that more be done. An Illinois senator wants the FDA commissioner to take action in the next 10 days. If he doesn't, then he will ask for his resignation. So let's dive a little deeper into the numbers here. An estimated 3.4 million middle and high school students used tobacco in 2017. So that number grew by more than 38% in 2018 to 4.9 million. And the CDC found that seven out of 10 teens who use tobacco use flavored products. And that's what's new behind this favorite flavored tobacco that's been going on, this ban that we've been talking about in January 1st, starting January 1st, 2020 here in Sacramento. That's gonna be starting then that the stores will no longer be able to sell flavored e-cigarettes, hookah, cigarettes, chew, or any other flavored tobacco product. Sacramento is one of several California cities with a ban like this. And new regulations have also been considered at the state level. One would ban flavored tobacco products altogether. The other would put stricter age verification requirements on online sales and deliveries.